Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming with some new makeup that was sent my way from a brand that I've tried before. So if you guys want to see some swatches, here's some first impressions, then just keep watching. If you're new, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I have an obsession with eyeshadow palettes, so you do see a lot of eyeshadow palette content from me. I haven't filmed in a few days, and honestly, I'm not mad about it. It was a nice little break. I am going on vacation next week too, so we have a lot going on on this channel. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so I received a PR package from the brand K-Love, and they sent me their new palettes. Now, I don't know a lot about art, so please bear with me. Uh, hopefully, I don't butcher this, but this is their Art Nouveau palette. This is their newest palette, and it's basically a beautiful rainbow palette. I love that there's a black. I'm very, very interested in testing out the pigmentation of these eyeshadows because I think the last palette I bought from them was their like garden palette that they launched under Muse Beauty, which is what they used to be called. And I wasn't 100% like blown away by that particular palette. So I kind of took a little break and now I have their newest palette, which I'm very excited to test out. And they also sent me this one, which is the Daydream palette. And this is their collaboration with Sunshine the Bee. This is so beautiful. Um, I love the packaging of this. It feels really nice and substantial. And I had some really good luck with the Huda Beauty cake liners. So I'm very, very excited to try another formula of cake liners. And of course, there's some beautiful shades in here. They also have two metallics in this palette. There is a little bit of seepage here happening. I think it's just some extra pigment that didn't dry. I just want to let you guys know in case the camera is picking that up, but this has a mirror. It's just a very cute little palette. So hopefully I'm going to really enjoy that. On the back of this one, there is a note from the collaborator, which I think is so cute. And then it says there's a net weight of 24 grams, 0.85 ounces, made in the PRC. This is a cruelty-free product with a 12-month shelf life. So that is the collab palette. Let's go back here to the Art Nouveau. So on here it says, enter a world of dreamy mystique and swirling stars. Meet the Art Nouveau palette, a fantastical collection of eight mattes and eight shimmers to dazzle and seduce. Go bold with a bright editorial look or use it daily for a simple five minute look. The possibilities are endless. What will you create? So it's very, very pretty. Again, this one is vegan cruelty free with a 12 month shelf life and this is also made in the PRC in case you guys were wondering. Now I do have their original palette that they did. This is the Impressionism palette. Such a beautiful color story and these two are the same size so in case you wanted a comparison and then I also have their Van Gogh palette which I'm ashamed of because I've actually not used this palette. I bought it because I was like eyeing it. And of course, in true Karen Harris fashion, it just sat there. So someday I'm going to get this on my eyes. But those are the two palettes from them that I have already. And these two are the new ones. So, okay, so I haven't swatched this yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do live swatches. Sometimes I like to do like zoomed in swatches. But since this palette has been out for a while, I'm just going to swatch it. Just so you guys can see it. And I'm going to swatch it downward because I feel like the color stories are kind of organized and so I just want to try it that way but this first row is like a beautiful sunset eye. The shades feel really soft and nice so I'm very excited. Oh that's a pretty color. Okay so here's the first row. We have Zodiac, we have Rouge Klimt or K-L-I-M-T. I'm sorry if I butchered that and then the shade Kiss. Which I will say Kiss is gorgeous. It's like a yellow orange. Very, very pretty. It's giving me sunflower vibes and I am here for it. Okay, so the next row is all shimmers and there's some beautiful shimmer shades. I feel like I haven't seen a white shimmer in a long time. So we have Judith, Life. I think this orange shade is called Dana. And then we have Mucha. Mucha? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's a beautiful, like, dirty gold shade. Such a pretty color. Okay, so here's the next row. Now we're kind of getting into the shades that are my kind of shades, the blues and the greens. So we have Vienna, which is that Mac Brown. We've got Dreamy, 
Fluidity and Summer. And then this is the last row. We have Tarot. Ooh, that's a good black. Mystique. This is Sensuality. And the blue is called Water Serpents. So there's all the swatches. I really like the color story of this palette. Yes, it's essentially a rainbow palette with some neutrals, but I feel like this palette has the capacity to be somebody's like one and done palette in their collection, which is cool. I mean, obviously I have more makeup than I know what to do with, but not everybody owns as many palettes as I do. And I don't think you need to, honestly. So this could be like a great one where you could do, I mean, this is like all the shades you need for a really solid neutral eye look. You can do some blues, you can do greens, you can do a pretty sunset. You can also use these shades for a neutral look. So I think they really nailed the color story. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna use this row just cause I haven't done a blue look in a hot second, I feel like. I have been playing with a lot of greens and I have the Lunar Beauty palette coming my way soon. So I wanna do, I think I wanna do more blue purple. So I'm gonna start off with Water Serpents, which is the blue shade in the very end of the palette here. And I'm using my Sonia G. This is the mini booster brush, super duper cute. It's like a teeny tiny little crease brush. And so I'm gonna start off by placing this color in the crease. Something about these shadows felt really promising, which is exciting because I haven't used this brand in a while. So I feel like I'm almost trying out a new brand for the first time. Okay, next I want to use the shade called Mystique, which is the pretty purple color in the palette. And I'm just going to put that on the outer corner and bring it to the middle. That's a really pretty purple as well. It's very deep. I mean, I shouldn't say very deep, but I like how deep it is. It's not like a lilac. It's more like a grape color, which is nice. Okay, so now I'm going to go back into Water Serpents and just help blend the purple with the blue. These shades are so pigment. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like I'm trying to make it look seamless. Anyways, super promising mattes. I'm very, very pumped. I want to use a little bit of the black, but first I think I'm going to do the two lid shades I have picked out. So I really want to use the shade called Life, which is the white on the inner corner. So I'm just taking a glam light brush and I'm going to spray it because that's how I like to use my metallics. I like to spray them. I don't think I've used a white eyeshadow in so long or like ever. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna go into Sensuality, which is the pretty purpley shade. Give it a spray and I'm gonna put that on the rest of my lid. Okay, when the purple meets the white, it creates the prettiest like lilac shade. So I kind of love that for the metallics. But yeah, I'm going to keep it a little bit simple as far as the metallics go. And then I'm just going to use the same Sonia brush. And I'm just going to pack on a little bit of this black on the outer corner. It felt like a very pigmented black. So I don't want to pick too much up of it. Yeah, it's, it's pigmented black. <laughs> this black did not come to play and I'm just going to grab a little bit more of the purple mystique and a blend sorry I'm like going on about the black but sometimes it's like these blacks are out here not being pigmented you know what I'm saying <laughs> anyways okay I'm just going to put more purple on Okay, cool. I love it. It's very nice and dramatic. For the lower lash line, I'm going to use this shade called DTLA from ColourPop. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have a confession. This 
is gonna come as a shock to a lot of you, but I was kind of waiting for ColourPop PR just in case they sent me the Winnie the Pooh collection, which they didn't, which is fine. No big deal. So I was gonna buy it and then I was out and about and I actually was at the bank when the collection launched and so I like went on and I saw it and I just didn't have time because I was like my husband's gonna be like really we're like here for something important like why are you trying to buy makeup right now so I was like oh I'll just do it like after the bank and then we went to lunch and basically my whole day ended up being about other stuff and then when I came back to the ColourPop website all the PR stuff like the bundles were sold out and so then I was like well I kind of want the bundle and we're going out of town next week which is when I'm assuming my package would come and so I was like well I kind of want the whole thing and I won't even be the first video on it so I was like let me just wait for a restock so I was so hyped because I was really excited. I told you guys I was going to buy the whole thing and I missed it. I missed the launch. So I'm not really like mad at myself because I'm like trying to be better about only buying stuff that I have time for. It's one of the things I like want to work on for just like my life because I'm a newer-ish mom and I basically just do YouTube for like my pocket money at this point so I just have to be a little bit more conscious about like how I spend my makeup budget and so I'm hoping I'm hoping I can get it on a restock um because yeah I don't want to buy like parts of it and I think usually Colourpop's bundles are a better deal so anyway sorry I'm going on a tangent but I thought it was like kind of shocking that I didn't end up buying it but I'm also kind of proud of myself about it okay so we're gonna try out the cake liners I think I'm gonna try out some of the mattes although I could try the white shimmer okay anyway I need to go grab some water to activate these so I will be right back okay so I had really good luck with the Sigma brush when I did my Huda Beauty video so I'm gonna use it again decided what shade I think I'm gonna go into the white metallic actually it's kind of nervous about it but let's just try it out and see I really like this eye look so I'm like really nervous I kind of want to put a little bit oh that is freaking cool okay so you're not gonna be able to see the white on the white shadow I don't think because they're too similar but I'm gonna try and do it on the outer corner here. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm just not very good with cake liner. It's nothing to do with the brand. I think I'm just gonna do a white wing here. Ooh, that is freaking cool. The metallic, I've never seen a metallic cake liner, so. I'm just gonna do a little wing. Usually I like draw it over the whole lid, but I kind of want to do something. It's a little bit different for me. I'm trying not to overthink it. That is so cool. I have never used a metallic cake lighter. And I like that it's opaque because usually I feel like I can never get it to be like a solid. And that's why I like the Huda ones too, because a lot of the eyeliners I have like this, I can never get it to be a solid. And I'm just doing tiny little wings. <gasps> oh, this is exciting. This is a big deal for me, okay? I know I just did like a teeny tiny little wing, but that's really cool. Okay, okay. Very cool, very excited. I mean, I'm just thinking of like all the really cool like editorial things you could do. You could do like different colors and do like a gradient liner. Like that would be so cool because I think that'd be easier with a cake liner. Anyway, I'm very excited for myself. As you can tell, I started doing a little bit of my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this look and I will be right back for the big reveal. 
Okay, friends, so here is the finished look. My friend Angie totally inspired me to wear a dress. Oh my gosh, that girl has the most gorgeous dresses. So I was like, you know what, Karen, you can put on a dress. It's fine. I totally have sweatpants on on the bottom part. <laughs> but I did just get this from Target, so I will link it down below for you guys in case anyone's interested. So, so cute. So excited. I'm going to take it with me for our little vacation. So I was like, you know, just wear it. Just wear it. So that's what I'm wearing. Just wanted to give myself a shout out for putting a dress on. Now let's talk really quick about what else is on my face. So I'm wearing the La Mer Foundation. This is the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I honestly think this foundation is very overhyped. I don't know. I don't know about this. You guys will have to tell me how you think it looks. Personally, I don't think it's doing me any favors as far as texture goes. And I have really dry skin at this moment. And I feel a little bit of sensitivity like around my mouth area. So I'm not 100% blown away. I keep comparing all the new foundations I'm trying to the HD foundation by Makeup Forever. And I don't know, nothing's really like made me stop wanting to use that one. And then for blush I'm wearing, one of my favorite things that I discovered in 2022. These are the Profusion Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blushes. I had four shades that I bought on the Profusion website and my Walmart was fully stocked with all the shades. So the other day when I was in there, I grabbed the two shades I didn't have and I thought this rosé shade would look so pretty. It's like a very light pop of pink on the cheek. So really love that. I'm wearing my Kosas bronzer. I am wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Multi Glow. This is in the darker shade Dream Light. And honestly, it's okay. It's not like overly glowy. And if you're lighter than me, I feel like this is going to be too dark for you. I think it's almost a little too dark for me, but I can still pull it off. So have that. Definitely not the like best highlighter I've ever tried, but I'm glad I bought it because I think the packaging is so cute. And then for lip, I'm wearing the Lethal Cosmetics Lip in the shade Vapor. This is from their new lineup of lipsticks that they launched. I actually have a full swatch video of this that I can try and remember to link for you guys if you're interested. So that's everything that's on my face today. Now let's talk about the two palettes from Kayla. I am honestly, I'm honestly very, very pleasantly surprised. I'm so excited. This cake liner palette, I'm so pumped for. I feel like it just gave me so many possibilities. So I hope they do more palettes like this. I could even use a smaller pan, like I don't need this much product but I would love more shades. I think that is definitely gonna be something I'm interested in. And this packaging is so cute. And so congratulations to Kayla and Sunshine the Bee. Her name is Josie for this collaboration palette. It's so nice. I love this eyeliner moment that I've got going on. It's not a lot. I know, I know it's not like the most creative use of cake liner in the history of the world, but I like it and I did not think that the white shade would actually show up on me. So very, very excited about that. And then talking about the Art Nouveau palette, I'm so excited for this. I only tried five of the shades, but this white eyeshadow is so fun. I'm so glad I have a white eyeshadow. I feel like it's gonna open up so many possibilities for me. The three mattes I used were very easy to work with. And I just love that this palette has so much variety packed into the 16 shades that are in here. So yeah, if you guys were considering picking these palettes up, I think they're very, very nice. Very excited. Thank you so much to the brand for sending them over to me. And that is everything for my first impressions on the new palettes from Kayla. So let me know down in the comments, were you guys interested in these palettes or are you passing on them? You know I love chatting to you down in my comment section. And I will see you guys in a new video very, very soon. Bye!